Hey everybody, so now that I'm settled in out here, um, I'm starting to think about my fitness goals. I'm noticing that already just within the first couple days, it's really hard to stay fit out here. And there's a lot of reasons for that. And I just thought I'd share my, my thoughts on how I go about setting a new goal for something. There's two things that I kind of try to think about and you can apply this to whatever goal you might have. Um, for me, this is trying to stay fit while I'm backpacking. The first thing is to find what the failure points are. And then number two is to ask yourself, what would it look like if it were easy? So let me just kind of go through both of these things and talk about it. The first thing is eliminating the failure points. So first you have to find out what are the things that are most likely to come up that will totally derail the goal, okay? So in this case with fitness, uh, there's a lot out here, okay? So the first thing is, there's no access to a gym or you know if there is like actually for example the Airbnb that I'm staying at it does have a gym and I went in there and I had this plan I was like all right I'm gonna do this and this and this and this uh, I, I'm, I'm in the middle of my first set and the security guard comes in and yells at me because I don't have shoes I only have my sandals out here so I'm like oh man the, the whole thing got totally derailed so that's a failure point where I wasn't able to get the workout in because I was relying on a gym that's a failure point. If, if I wanna do this goal effectively, moving forward, I'm only gonna do body weight exercises. That way, the failure point doesn't even come up because I can do body weight exercises anywhere. Since I don't have shoes out here, that eliminates a lot of different things like running and uh, a lot of the high intensity interval training kind of stuff where I'm really jumping around a lot. I can't really do that stuff. So I need to think about that when I'm coming up with a program of, of what I'm gonna do out here. Another thing that kind of relates to that is just the amount of sweating. It's so freaking hot out here. I'm, I'm sweating right now and I'm not even doing anything. I'm just sitting at a park bench. And so that means that I can't do these crazy like insanity workouts. I mean, I could, but knowing myself, there's gonna be times where I'm not gonna wanna do it, right? So that means that I will wanna focus more on like strength building or exercises that will work really well for me, but is not gonna make me need to take a shower right afterwards because I'm already sweating a ton out here. The idea is to find these failure points for whatever goal that you're setting. Find, find, think ahead and think about, okay, what are the moments that will make me not wanna do this goal? And then just plan so that you don't even have to face it or you at least kind of minimize it. That's the first concept. The second thing is something that I picked up from Tim Ferriss, who I follow religiously <laughs> and he when he's trying to kind of come up with a plan or to look at something in his life or something he asks what would this look like if it were easy okay I've noticed in my life that when something's not really going well it's usually because I'm trying to make it way too complicated I think when things are simpler they end up being more effective and, and a little bit better so in this case uh, it means that I should not, especially out here, I should not have some crazy workout routine that is super complex and you know, if I miss a day, then um, it totally derails me and things like that. Asking myself, what would this look like if it were easy? If it were easy, uh, I'm just kind of thinking out loud here, if it were easy, I would not have to spend more than 10 minutes a day working out, okay? So again, that eliminates a failure point, which is, it, let's say I'm like, oh yeah, I wanna work out an hour a day. Well, you know, in my normal like routine life, yeah, then maybe that's possible. But out here, I want to be doing stuff. I want to, you know, my, my days might be irregular. I might be at an airport or a train station, but I will have 10 minutes at some point in the day. So I'm making a rule that when I work out, it's just going to be a 10 minute workout. Uh, again, no crazy sweating or anything like that. It'll just be a simple move. So if it were easy, it would only be 10 minutes. Thinking about um, trying to keep it simple here, if I had like five or 10 moves, then um, maybe I wouldn't want to finish the workout or maybe I wouldn't want to do it. So what I'm going to do is just do one move a day. There are push exercises, there are pull exercises, uh, there are leg exercises, and there are core exercises. So I would say, you know, if you had to kind of group them all together, it would be those four categories. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to alternate. So on day one, I'll do 10 minutes of push exercises or one exercise. Uh, day two will be legs. Day three will be uh, pull, and day four would be core, okay? So then I'm hitting all the groups, and I'm only spending 10 minutes a day, super easy. Again, what would this look like if it were easy? Um, now, this reminds me of another failure point. What about pull exercises? Now, put, you know, push, I can do push-ups, core, I can do sit-ups, 
legs, I can do squats. But to do a pull exercise, you need to have, it's hard to find you know, a pull-up bar, right? Well, so this is, going back to the first thing, I need to think of failure points. So that would be a failure point. So I've, I've kind of made a rule to myself that anytime I see like, uh, I walk by a playground or even in my Airbnb, there's, uh, they have like a little pull-up bar uh, situation going. Anytime I see one of those, I'm just gonna do 10 chin-ups or 10 pull-ups. And I'm making that as a rule to myself. I could go on and on and on, but I hope that that helps you. Um, you know, just think of these two things when you're trying to set a new goal. If it's like to try to stop smoking or to try to lose weight or to try to start meditating or, you know, whatever the goal is, think about what are the failure points and then how can I eliminate those so that I don't even face them, okay? And then number two, ask yourself, what would this look like if it were easy? Uh, a lot of times when we, when we start a new goal, uh, we go all out. We're like, all right, I'm going to do this and this and this and this and this. And then we just, you know, we miss it one day and it totally derails us. And we're like, well, I, I just can't do it. So keep it super simple. All right. I hope that helps. Let me know what you think and have a great day. All right. See you. Bye.